welcome to my new tutorial. Uh, today I'll talk about decisions in C-Sharp. Um, decisions uh, uh, are here to perform different actions depending on uh, a specified boolean condition. It turns out to be true or false. And that can be very useful to determine what action your program uh, should do uh, depending on, uh, for instance, a user input, say an ins uh, a user needs to enter his age to perform a certain action. Um, as you can see here, I've written down those statements. You can see the if with an expression in it. You can see the else if with an expression in it. And you can see the else statement without an expression. And those expressions uh, are either a Boolean uh, value a boolean type variable uh, which can hold true or false or it can be an expression uh, created by a relational operator and that's just a comparison you can compare a value to another value and based on the relational operator it will turn out to be true or false and perform a certain action based on that we can also use a switch uh, statement which will um, use a, a variable it, it will take a variable and see if it has a value of value 1 and execute that code and if that's not the case it will see if it has value 2 uh, and execute the code and if that's not the case it will go on and go on and go on and the switch statement usually comes in handy if you want to uh, uh, determine an action based on a value which can be a lot of different things for instance you want to make uh, some code happen depending on whether the day is Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday and so on let's have a look at relational operators relational operators um, are used in those expression to check whether uh, a an, an condition is equal, not equal, larger, uh, larger or equal to the value A or B. Here you have them listed. Um, the first one will only return true if A is equal to B. Second one will only return true if A turns out to be not equal to B. Third one will always return true if A will be larger than B. And on the different way we can see that the fourth uh, uh, entry here will only be true if B is larger than A and same goes for the last two only with the difference that um, A needs to be larger or equal to B in this case or the last one B it w it needs to be larger or equal to A to return true and if those things don't return true it will only return false and nothing else Right, let us get down to the code and I'll, I've started a um, console application in which we would like to determine um, uh, an action based on the age of the user which is using this program. So firstly we want to, to uh, get that age and then we want to determine an action based on that. So we'll uh, get the age by making int age is a convert to an int of a string and that string will be taken from the console.read line so if the user enters a line uh, with an age in it it will convert it to an int and put it in here and we could help the user a little bit by asking that age in the console this so if we test it out it will ask the age and we can enter it and then it closes and let's get this a right and not a right line and in the end of the of the code I'll put a console.read key just to prevent the console application to quit when the execution here in the code ends Okay, so we'll be sto storing the age in here, and let's say we want to 
display a different message depending on uh, this age. Say we want to check if a user is older than uh, 30. Or let's say he is 30 or older. And we can write down the first if statement saying if age is larger or equal to 30. Like this. And based on age, if age turns to be out larger or equal than 30, then this expression here will turn out to be true. And then it will execute any code that's written down between these brackets here. So we could write uh, hello oldie. Not to offend anyone who's older than 30 here, yeah, but I just have to uh, make up some line. <laughs> okay, and say in, in the same context we would like to check if this age is larger than 25. And we can do that by typing an else if. So if this turns out to be not the case, age will always be larger, uh, smaller than 30. Uh, but say in, in that group we want to also check if age is larger than 25 and that we can do that by typing an else if. If we haven't or hadn't typed this else here, it would always have checked this value uh, um, instead of now because now it will only check this value if this turned out to be false okay so here we can write down console the right line I don't know what to uh, make of that and say we want to check if he's 20 or older and we can also make an, a, uh, an else if that and say if none of this is the case then we'll execute the code we want to uh, make sure happens by using an else so if none of these here uh, turned out to be true it will execute this one and we can say sorry no access And we can test this by starting a program. We could say 28 and it says hello. That's right. We could write down 32 and it says hello Aldi. And we can uh, write down 12 and it says sorry, there's no access for you. Great, this works. Well, um, if the age turned out to be larger or equal than 30, say we would like to check in that area if a certain age is between some other age, then we can nest an if statement in this if statement. So we can write a new if statement between these brackets here. So we could say if age is larger than 65, So, if we're using this one here, we can say if age is larger than or equal to 30 and if age is larger than 65, then it will write down this line. Or if age is larger than uh, 30 and smaller than 65, it will write down this line. Okay, 
Now, in our next example, we would like to perform an action depending on that same age, uh, but then uh, to a specified age. So, say we want to, to make our code uh, uh, perform a task when the age is equal to 16, or equal to 17, or equal to 18, and so on. Um, well, then we have a, a lot of if statements we could make, or we could uh, uh, use the uh, switch statement. And it will look like this. We are going to switch a variable named h. And in the range of h, we want to check whether this variable has a certain value. We can say case uh, this h is 16. And then we can perform an action console.write line and if that turned about turned out to be the case then we'll need to break out of the switch statement by using this keyword here so if 16 had been the case it will execute this and then turns the uh, pointer of the program to behind this bracket here and then we can easily uh, make a few cases. We can say case 17, we can say case 18, and so on. You all get uh, the drift here, I guess. And we can test the program by running it, and for instance typing 17, and we'll write down hello 17. Uh, and we can also write down a value which is not defined in any case, and it shouldn't write down anything, and it doesn't. Okay. Well guys, that was my tutorial about decisions, uh, I would only like to talk about the basics here within a few days. I'll be uh, showing you uh, an extended example which I'll uh, use to create a calculator in C Sharp and I'll be using a lot of if statements uh, and the materials of the first uh, four chapters in that example. So please uh, watch that one when it's ready. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And I'll see you guys around. Thank you. Bye bye.